for a long time. I can't remember, but during sharp post her season. And um, she's been such a wonderful friend. A friendship that has lasted um, through thick and thin. We've never ever had a fight. Funny how the first, you know, small shout I've ever heard from her is in this house. Alex has been somebody who has been trustworthy. She has been a confidant. She's an amazing person. She likes being around people. She's easily excited. She, she, the, lit, the littlest things make her happy. You know, as little as buy me biscuits makes Alex happy. As little as if you're coming, bring this thing for me on the road, stop on the way and buy this thing for me makes Alex happy. Alex is one friend whom, since when I've known her, uh, she has never made food in her house. <laughs> I would always end up coming to her house to make food that she would eat in her house. She's been a wonderful person again. I like to reiterate that. She's somebody that if she doesn't hear from you in a while, as much as she sees your messages when you want her to hear from you, she wouldn't answer. But if she doesn't hear from you in a while, she would reach out. And she would always give you words of affirmation, such as, I'm proud of you. I know that I've not been reaching out, but just know that I'll always love you and I'll be there for you. She's that one person that if things go south in my life before marriage, before my wife came into the picture, when you know I was still very much single, she's that one person who was helping me outsource and our friends were sourcing us. But at the same time, irrespective of anything, <laughs> Irrespective of anything, she's that person whom, um, when life hit me, as much as she was younger, it looked as if, because of how um, red she is, she would always find a very good you know, way to put me at peace. So I would always run to her whenever I'm stressed or whenever I'm kind of you know, in, a, in a situation. So for me, this friendship has been one that's amazing. So thank you, Alex. Thank you for being my party of life. Just like a Fatima, my party of life. A round of applause, please, for my party of life. Hey, wait, don't have hands. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ha. <sighs> okay, so for us, um, okay, please, can you give us the example? Can you give us the example, please? Just read it for me. This is that innocent Asian friend. <laughs> Just read, please. This is that innocent friend. Thank you. So, um, Fred and I have been friends for a very long time. First of all, I'll start by saying thank you, Fred, for managing all of my excesses. Thank you for managing my character. I'm not one to, I reach out, right? But with Fred, it's like I don't reply messages a lot. Because Ford is always out every night working. <laughs> and I cannot be out with Ford the way Ford is always out. So it's like I always go up somehow. But Ford has been that friend that even in my absence, he speaks good of me. I've heard if I have a problem and I feel like I need to talk to somebody, for some reason, Ford always calls at the time when, because I, I won't reach out. I would probably just keep it to myself and cry in my room. But Ford is that one friend that always calls when there's actually a problem and always has the right things to say. Ford has understood all my excuses, even the ones that don't make sense. Ford will still understand it. Ford has been that friend that would still visit me countless times, even though I've never thought of visiting him. I mean, he talks about it. Alex, I'm always coming to your house. You don't come to my house. But Ford will not stop checking up on me. Ford is that one friend that if you tell that you're sick, is at your place the next day with food and fruits. If he doesn't make it to your house that day, Ford is also that friend that will come to your house and gist with you till 4 a.m. Everyone in my house you know, loves Ford. Ford is like family. Ford is that friend that will come to my house and cook for me to eat. Because I've told him that there's always soup beside the fridge because he said it's noodles that he wants to eat. So I don't know why he said he wants to cook in my house. But Ford, Ford has a pure heart. Ford is, I like to tell people that when you train a man, do not take away emotions from him. I don't like when when men do it to be emotionless. And Ford is that one man that I know that expresses his emotions and also shows 
have the things. To, I, I don't have a problem with a man that can cry when he's sad and laugh when he's happy. And Paul is that kind of person. So I want to thank you for making me feel like my emotions are valid. I want to thank you for also being vulnerable and still having strength and vulnerability. I want to thank you for caring about me even when it looked like I did not care enough. I want to thank you for listening to all the rants that I had to rant in this house when I was fighting you for not being a close friend, like we were outside here. I also want to thank you for your pure heart and how you've been towards all your other friends. I want to thank you for all the times that you've encouraged me. I want to thank you for all the times that in anger you've still listened and spoken to me. I want to thank you for all the times that you've loved me regardless of my downsides. I want to thank you for being one of the most caring male friends that I have. Thank you so much. I'm just like Papuna, my passion is back.